The reason why I put it right in the middle, that way I can see. Once it starts putting, putting that golden color, then I'll put it all together. I love it. Oh, yeah. There is, though. I mean, how are you going to keep your head part of it? Okay. Now that our, our pork is about, about medium, that's when we're going to start putting in uh, our vegetables out there. I'll go ahead. I will start off with my ginger. It all depends on your taste buds. Some people like a lot of ginger, some people don't. If you don't like a lot of ginger, my suggestion to you is when you make the stock, make the stock and just put a kind of, just put a ginger in there. So it infuse the flavor. And then therefore you don't have to put the ginger in, you'll have the taste for it, but you won't you won't have the texture of the ginger. And then we're gonna add our shallots. That's smelling good. About we'll add about I put four large, four large uh, shallots in here. So it's about one. So I'll do two of each one of these. Nicely julienne. It's already smelling like it's coming together, guys. Right? Mm -hmm. like mama's mm -hmm. Now I'll, I'll add a mushroom. I like, I like mushrooms. I like the smell of mushrooms, I like the taste of mushrooms, I like the feel of it. So, I have the shiitake, they're also julienne as well. Now my chicken stock that I, I made, it's really, it was chicken stock, but I used, it's all the stems of the shiitake. The shiitake mushrooms, the stems, they are edible, but it still contains all of that flavor. So I get rid of it, you know? So all uh, the meats and plus, for instance, we have our green onions, we have the ginger, we have our garlic, and we have the shrimp. <coughs> all your end pieces and all your scrap pieces, don't throw it out. Throw that right inside the stock. It gives all that flavor that's inside there. Even the wrappings, you know, like for instance the, your uh, garlic, you know how I had that peel on the outside? Throw that peel right in the too, because we're gonna strain it all out anyways. Get the flavor of it. Why waste it? Look be good, guys. At the very, very, very end of this, that's when we're going to put our green onions in it. Because we don't want it to wilt it. Now that you realize, now that you see that the shell is starting to sweat, I build a hole in the middle again. Build a hole in the middle. That's when we're going to start adding our <laughs> sauce. It's, it should be nice and thick. It's a two ounce ladle, so I'd go about three ounces in this. And we're gonna let that reduce really good. The stock actually is only gonna be, we're only gonna use a little bit of it. A little of the stock just to uh, break it up a little bit, just to make sure it's not too, too caramelized and tight enough. Mix it all up, we're going to pour it all together so it has a nice like, even pulp. Just like that. <coughs> um, how are you? Oh, yeah, my. leftover pasta. You have oh, leftover my. noodles. Oh. I don't know, we might have no main leftover. But when this is all said and done, I just throw it in the pasta a lot. That'd be a great meal because all of this flavor would be all the pork inside of it. Now it's going to go with one ladle of stock. With this ladle of stock, you want to just go to the side of your wok so that you get all the flavor that's already wrapped around it, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks 
good, guys. Now that we're pretty much on the stuff, we're about 80%, 80% finished. That's when we're going to start adding in our green onions, our scallops. Get a nice healthy And I cut them, I cut them in a diagonal, the scallion. That way it uh, will still have some body to it. So once you put the scallions, that's pretty much, you're, you're telling yourself, we're, we're pretty much done almost. So we're going to just toss it up one last time just to make sure it's even. That way it's completely even, you pull it. Looks good. <coughs> Tie. I, I, I'm feeling the tie coming in here. You're feeling the tie coming yeah, in? I'm feeling the tie. See, at, at myself personally, I would like to put Thai chili peppers in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. gotta have, you know, but uh, Could we do that? You can, absolutely. If you really like spicy food, uh, you do, if you have a mortar. Can you bring those to Thai? No, ma'am. If, <laughs> if you have a mortar and pesto, I would put my garlic. I'd, I'd make this sauce with it. You do your garlic. With your Thai chili peppers. So you crush it up really good with the mortar and pestle, then you start adding in the sugar, add in your uh, fish sauce, and then your oyster sauce. Okay, add that together and just blend it, then incorporate all, and let it just rest. It'll, it'll be really, really good. Don't don't get rid of anything that's in it. Just pour it all out. Then pour it right inside there at the very end, just like this. Trim the fat off of it. Trim the fat off of it. And just cut it really, really nice in the flies. You know, hold your pork and just cut it in the flies really, really thin. As thin as you can without making it see through. That way it cooks and it, it'll look like that. 